All right, Garen, now we're moving into the Bulls Western Province game. Any surprises there? Right, well, this was the big north-south mm. um, derby, if you'd like. Um, second time these teams have played each other this season, and Western Province have now done the double over their, their northern opponents. Um, ferocious match this. I was, I was, you know, a lot of battered and bruised, and especially Western Province players this morning on Twitter, sporting cuts and bruises and black eyes and, and, and the work. So um, no, no quarter asked or given in, in this match for sure. The Bulls, you know, they, they were down, languishing in sort of sixth mm -hmm. spot in the log. They really had a lot to play for. They had to get the win at home. You would have expected them to be a lot better than they were at Newlands a couple of weeks prior. And they certainly were a lot better. They sort of um, went hell for leather at the Western Province team. But this Western Province team, you know, they've really developed since the Super Rugby Tournament. Gertzma, the new director of rugby, promised um, to go back to the ways of the 80s when Western Province were, were the, in their heyday mm -hmm. when they ran the ball from pretty much every, everywhere played 15-man rugby they've, they've certainly managed to do that with some fantastic backline players and um, Sabella Sinatla was unbelievably good I thought on the weekend you know there's no ex there's no um, excuse for, for, for pure pace um, out, out wide you know he ran in I think again a contender for trial of the season mm -hmm. jinxed and weaved his way throughout through the, the ball's backline they seem to be struggling a little bit up front, Western Province. It sort of doesn't look like they're focusing as much on their set piece, sort of relying on their backline players to score tries. And to their credit, they are scoring enough tries to get them the, the victories. They're undefeated after four games, top of the log. So you can't really fault them there, can't ask for more. Um, I, I got a little bit of a worry that later in the tournament, they'll come up against a team that will just play forward rugby and starve them off possession, and they might come a little bit short. Um, but he is hoping that their backline continue to fire because they're certainly the most entertaining team to watch in this year's tournament. So they picked up another another four points for, for winning 23-18. The Bulls picked up a losing bonus point. But Western Province marching on in this year's tournament, looking like potential Curry Cup champions. Rob, what was your take on the game? Do you think yeah. they have what it takes to be the champions? I think so. It was uh, it was certainly one of the best games of the season. And uh, afterwards, Nick Mallet, uh, I think partly fueled by that particular game, was enthusing about the, the quality of Curry Cup rugby uh, this weekend and uh, across the board pretty much. Uh, and this game really uh, sort of uh, was the cherry on top uh, in terms of quality. Pity there weren't more people there to, to see it in, in many ways. You'd like to see people come back through the gates now that the, the Curry Cup's being played in such a good attacking and counter-attacking spirit. Um, uh, as Garen said, uh, once again, uh, Western Province uh, sort of led to victory by the... I, I just love the balance of that back three that they've got. Uh, Cheslin Colby is one of the gutsiest small rugby players that I think I've ever seen uh, mm -hmm. because he you know, not only gets stuck into tackles on guys who are 40 kilograms uh, heavier than he is, he's totally fearless. Um, then you've got Sinatla um, on, on the left wing who's uh, been absolutely magic with his attacking play but is also um, surprisingly physical. He's really prepared to, to get stuck in at, at breakdowns, you know, working for turnovers, uh, uh, putting in aggressive tackles and then uh, they're sort of complemented by having a, a really big uh, but also very skillful right wing in, in Kubis van Weyck um, who's almost like a sort of a new age. Gary mentioned the 80s. I'm thinking almost like someone like Neil Berger mm -hmm. uh, who Western Province had on their right wing, a big chunky fellow um, back in the, the 80s, sort of my time of course. Um, and uh, Kubus van Weyck is <laughs> uh, sort of emerging as, as a new sort of powerhouse on the right wing for Western Province. Uh, Bulls, uh, not the end of the world, uh, one of their better performances, that, as Garen said, they got the losing bonus points, mm -hmm. so they can feel they got something out of the game, not out of the picture for the semis, but they can't afford to lose too many more games, uh, having said that. Um, so pressure very much on them to, to, to bank a couple of wins to, to start edging up the table.